Hey, what's going on everybody? I wanted to first really quickly say thank you to all the people who have supported me, worked with me, and were on the field with me throughout 2019. I hit 1,000 subscribers during the last week of the year, and it felt really great to see such a large number of people support my hard work. I have absolutely no plans on stopping, so you can be sure that some really unique content is lined up for this year. Today I have a pretty cool video review covering some foam filled suppressors. I'm going to demonstrate exactly how these foam filled suppressors can alter the sound of your airsoft rifle with a few side by side comparisons as well as a look at the audio waves for each. I got these foam filled suppressors from John Lee over at supplyairsoft.com. He has a nice selection of airsoft accessories mainly offering quality optics, lights and lasers, and rail accessories. If you guys watched my FC1 red dot sight review from a couple months back I purchased that red dot sight from him as well. A quick and easy unboxing reveals the suppressor and the insert side by side. The mock suppressor and foam insert are shipped separately and this is to comply with all local laws. There are not a lot of retailers that will actually sell foam filled suppressors as they can be illegal if shipped incorrectly. But Supply Airsoft makes it so easy to purchase one that is ready to go in just seconds. Here we have the empty suppressor shell. Simply unscrewing the cap from either side and I can open up the empty suppressor shell and slide in our foam insert. The spring and the foam have already been perfectly cut to match the inner dimensions of the empty suppressor. So simply screwing the cap back on and this thing is ready to go. All of the suppressors that you can get from Supply Airsoft come with both a 14mm positive and a 14mm negatively threaded end, which eliminates the need for adapters on most standard outer barrels. And for assembly, that's it. I got two different styles to test out, one of the larger and one of the small ones to give me some options depending on which rifle I'm using. Supply Airsoft has six unique styles and lengths that you can choose from, and a link to that product page can be found in the description below. So there's the suppressor all put together with the foam insert inside, let's go throw it on some of my rifles and see the results. Let's start with an HPA rifle. This is most likely going to give us our most drastic results given the way that HPA rifles function. This is my brand new Vulcan V12 build, which I will have some gameplay videos coming soon as well as the full build video. For this test, I have my microphone placed about 10 feet away in front of the rifle to capture the sound from the perspective of someone being shot at as opposed to what the person operating the rifle is going to experience. This is how it sounds without the foam suppressor attached. And this is the sound with the foam suppressor attached. As you can probably tell with the naked ear, the sound is noticeably different. This is how it sounds without the foam suppressor attached. And this is the sound with the foam suppressor attached. As you can see, with the exact same microphone setup, the overall audio levels went way down when using the rifle with the suppressor attached. On my particular audio setup, the difference was about 6 decibels. Alright, and now I have a Crytac CRB, a very reliable AEG without any modifications being added. This is how the rifle sounds without the suppressor attached. And this is how it sounds with the suppressor attached. You'll notice it was quite different from the HPA rifle results. This is how it sounds without the foam suppressor attached. And this is the sound with the foam suppressor attached. There was not nearly as much as a difference on this AEG, but there was a difference nonetheless. The overall audio level was 1.1 decibels lower when the foam filled suppressor was attached. 
So in summary, these foam filled suppressors are definitely going to work best with HPA builds. The suppressors are great if you need a barrel extension that is both aesthetically pleasing and functional. If you already have a mock suppressor that you do like aesthetically, you may be better off just building a foam insert for yourself. But for the player that is in need of a mock suppressor, you might as well make it functional and purchase these great foam filled suppressors from supplyairsoft.com. Thanks for checking out the video guys, plenty of more to come so please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to stay in the loop with all things Airsoft. I'll see you in the next one.